All right. Thank you for that, Tristan. So my name is Megan Cohen, and I got to work alongside with Haley Walmsley, who is unfortunately not here today, in Custer County. So while we were in Custer County, we worked with the Custer Economic Development Corporation, which is called CEDC. And right away when we were there in the community, we really noticed firsthand that their motto, rooted but not standing still, definitely holds true. The county is always open to new ideas and they never want to say no and stop growing. So that's what we definitely took pride in there in our time. So, like I said, uh, my name is Megan Cohen. I am from Platt Center, Nebraska. I am a senior here at the uh, University of Nebraska-Lincoln studying agriculture education with a focus in leadership and a minor in animal science. And Haley Walmsley is from Norfolk. She is a junior agriculture education major as well. So our impact on Custer County, looking at this may be overwhelming, but to me it like brings pure joy to me because this is a list of nine projects that Haley and I got the opportunity to work on and some of them were just, a, just words on a piece of paper and other ones that were already kind of started, they were, the ideas were there, but we definitely did not shy away from any of them and we took them on head on and started rolling with them. Um, so I'm going to talk briefly about three of them in particular. So uh, the other group, they talked about the barn. It's, it's a visitor center in Broken Bone, Custer County, and we, they take great pride in it. So when we first got there, Haley and I looked at each other, immediately fell in love with the barn. We're like, we want to do something here because there's so much potential there, and we want it to be utilized more. So we found out that this year the barn is celebrating a 10-year anniversary. So we're like, let's plan something. We're like, let's make something um, inclusive for all ages, whether so that way they can be all the um, grandparents and all the way down to their grandkids. So, because we really wanted to focus on inclusive leadership this summer, so we're like, we so we, um, of course, the summer we contacted a whole bunch of people and we created an event that I will talk about later. Um, so more um, with the idea of inclusive leadership, I wanted to. Um, take that into interns. So I went with an intern connection project, which I just went to Andrea. I was like, let's do something for the interns in Custer County. So it was started from nothing, and I just created different events because I wanted an opportunity for the interns in Custer County not only to grow within the business that they were interning at, but also socially and be, feel like they're a part of the community. I wanted them to grow so much that they want to identify with not only Broken Bow, but Custer County, in hopes that when they're done with college, they want to come back and have their home be Broken Bow or Custer County. So that was really great, getting to interact with dif different interns and watching them grow and develop throughout the summer. And then another solo project that I work on, worked on was the Custer County Passport. So some of you may be familiar with the Nebraska Passport. So I, this is a spin off the Nebraska Passport, and this is actually one side of, it's a postcard of the Custer County Passport that I created. So what I did is, um, one of my very first weeks there, I went and toured Custer County, and I was beyond amazed when I saw all the different like hidden gems that Custer County has to offer. And they do a good job about like highlighting them, but I wanted to take it to that next step. So I, there's a lot of the historical landmarks in Custer County, and I, put, I picked a few spots in each community, and I highlighted them. So that is something that is going to be a long-term thing that Custer County can go with. So, so growth and development <laughs> for me personally. Um, so I'll just start off with this picture. Um, so that's Andrew. And so yesterday was actually the uh, barn celebration. So take great pride in it. So it was one thing that I struggled with actually this summer was like, I was like, okay, I'm going to start all these projects, but I'm not going to be able to see like the finished product. But as the time went on, I was like, it's okay. Like somebody's got to be the one to get the ball rolling. But I went back yesterday and it was so incredible to see something that I started with, with nothing that was just an event. Like this was the date set and got to be, got to see it be so successful and see my ideas be carried out and have the community just be there and so excited. And so um, actually, so I work at a Horn T Zoo and one of my ideas was is to bring the zoo to Broken Bow. 
So the, just the experience that I could be the one to help the kids, the grandparents, parents, just take all these different experiences that they wouldn't have had if we wouldn't have done this barn celebration. So also um, awareness is just like being open and understanding why people think the way they do, whether they're from Callaway or they're from Arnold or Broken Boat, just like what, what drives their thought process and the actions that they do. Uh, networking was really huge for me. So uh, before I was like, to be honest, coming into this internship, I'm like, okay, I'm just kind of going to be like, go through the motions. Like I was super scared and intimidated to talk to anybody that either was a business owner, somebody that was a CEO, a president of a company, or that held like a doctorate or a job title that I was like, okay, I'm just like a 21 year old from a small rural community. Why are they gonna wanna listen to my opinions? But like, I just realized that over time after every interaction, I, was, I realized that each person was a huge asset in making sure that all my projects were able to carry out and be successful. And I learned that live in the moment of the conversation because you never know when that person's gonna be an asset to you in the future. And it was, it was amazing. And then, so also like diversity, like that, that went with the awareness aspect because I was, I was so amazed that somebody from Arnold or Callaway or Sargent or whatever community I was at, that they were all similar, but yet so different. And it was, it, was, it was incredible to actually get to know the individuals and sit down and talk with them and see like, just to understand like the pride that they take in their community and their family and their values really put life in a different perspective for me. So here is a video from Haley. Can I just, okay. No, okay. Good afternoon, RFI supporters. My name is Haley Walmsley and I had the pleasure of serving as an RFI student fellow for Custer County, Nebraska this summer. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person today. I'm in Alaska right now, spending some time with my dad before the school year starts back up again. A little bit about me, I am originally from Norfolk, Nebraska, and I am currently a junior agricultural education major here in Lincoln. This summer has truly been life-changing for me, and I have loved every second of this experience. I had the pleasure of working, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in Nebraska, I got to work with and under the supervision of some of the most inspirational people I've ever met in my life. And I got to work on projects that not only played towards my interests and my passions, but also pushed me to become a better person professionally and personally. Custer County has like a second home to me now. Leaving at the end of the summer was really hard to, to say goodbye for a little while. I have grown in so many ways over the summer, but one of the ways I feel like I have grown the most is by stepping outside of my comfort zone and trying things that I would have never tried before. Andrew and Amber, our lead mentors in Custer County, were amazing at helping to push us outside of the nest and also help us grow to new heights. I have also learned this summer how to become an inclusive leader. So before starting this program or any of its training, I assumed that an inclusive leader was someone who didn't just define someone's leadership abilities based solely on their race. While I learned that race is a factor, there are also many other factors such as how you grew up and many of your life experiences thus far. So one of the skills that I have been working on connected to this is um, learning how to utilize other people's strengths and their skills so that way I can fit those, adapt those people to whatever team I am on at the time. This skill is still a work in progress, but this summer has been leaps and bounds in helping me reach this goal of being able to see the successes in other people and utilize those strengths. Overall, I would highly recommend the RFI Student Fellow Program. I got to work on projects that I was passionate about. For example, I worked on two specific marketing pro projects for the community of Custer County. First one was I took combined my passion for photography with my work at RFI and took some pictures around Custer County of different buildings and different assets that the communities could use on their Facebook pages and their websites. I also got to work on a couple of success stories around Custer County to tell about the awesome people that are in Custer County and what they're doing. 
I made so many connections with amazing people in the community that are doing big things in rural Nebraska. Overall, this experience was absolutely amazing, and I would do it again in a heartbeat if I could. <laughs> so, looking back at our journey, so the R5 Fellowship has taken us down this amazing journey that I never thought I was ever going to get the opportunity to do. And I know I can speak for Haley and myself saying that we had so much, not only like self-discovery and, and also just like the professional and personal growth that we would have never had if it wasn't for RFI and this opportunity. So one big takeaway, like the quote that I really, really set in stone like into me was this summer is the good old quote by the three musketeers, all for one and one for all. Thank you. So how did um, all of the student fellows across all the communities stay connected with each other? Can you talk about that? Yeah, so we, I mean, just through like we did, we had texts going, a group chat and things like that, but one thing that our day and age, uh, we, we created a Snapchat actually. So group Snapchat, and that was like the best opportunity, the best way. So we always seen like the highs and the lows, and we were there for, we were there to give advice to one another. Like if you were having a bad day about like, okay, I'm, I'm experiencing this struggle. Does anybody else know, has anybody else experienced this that you could give me what worked for you or what didn't? So good old Snapchat is our best way we stayed connected. And it was also like a lot of good pick me up. So like if one group was down, we had another group to be there to pick us up, so. She has one. As, a, as our five goes forward, mm -hmm. they are looking for students to go to be the next group of interns. What would you say? How would you guys mark in this baby ship? How do you market this? Because I've heard repeatedly that for some, that this has been kind of mm -hmm. the best thing that's happened in your college experience in terms of your growth and opportunities to go to yourself personally, to take on initiatives, and do all these things. And that, so when you're recruiting other students, how do, how do they do that? Can get the message out to say, this is, this is an opportunity that all college students should have? Right, right, definitely. So I know I, each of us have a different story, a different experience that we all went through. But the best key takeaway that, or the advice that I would say is we all need to be, we, we are advocates for RFI and we need to be the one to share our story and we're all, we all take pride in the community and the projects that we all did and we're walking billboards for it. So whether it's social media, you post a picture, whatever it is, tell your friend, it's a ripple effect. So never stop sharing our stories, telling your friends and family, that's, to me that's the best way. But also, it's, it's, I don't know, like a simple picture and things like that, it's, it's the way to spread the word. But the one thing, like I would say the biggest like marketing label I would say um, is never, don't put like a cap on your growth and development in life. Never think that like, I'm good enough, I, I got this certificate or I reached this goal that I had of confidence or whatever it may be. Never, never stop growing and learning because you'll be surprised that where the life will take you what opportunities you'll get. So that's what I would say. Always be open. <laughs> <laughs>